Hey everyone, welcome back to part two of Mega Mavis Mystery Mayhem, the Christmas edition. So I've already uploaded part one a couple of hours ago, so go check that out if you haven't already. So let's go opening the rest of the blind boxes. Let's open up a Toki Doki one next. So I have a Series 6 Unicorno, and these all look really awesome, but my favourites are probably Hanako, Usagi, and Miso, so I'm hoping I get one of those. Here is the wine bag. And I really think there's a tech up, so let's just cut it up there. Let's see who's in here. Oh, I think it's Miso! Yay! Okay, so we got Miso, and she's actually like a bowl of ramen, which I think is such a cool design. Like her main is the noodles, and then there's like the egg and the seaweed. Oh, this is so cool. Toki Doki always make awesome figures. And she's kind of like a translucent colour as well. So moving on to the next one, let's put her over there and let's pick up another blind box. So we have a Disney emoji and this is the first time I found these at the shops, but they're series one. So it actually looks like a little speech bubble, which I thought was really cool. So then I think we can just take that bit out there and let's have a look at the checklist first. So it looks like there are the original, original two, and then there's like specials. So here are all the ones in the back wall. There's actually a lot to collect, but it looks like we might have gotten a special. Ooh, what's this one? Let me see which one this is. It looks like it's Timon from um, The Lion King, which is so cool. We actually got a special. So that one must be more rare. So there is the little Timon one here and his like face looks really like worried which is pretty funny and then the back it says Disney and then we also have the little this is from Toy Story right so it comes with like a little accessory so let's have a look where the Toy Story ones are so these are the props so we have a bowl and it looks like this one is just the common one I'm not sure what this one is meant to be maybe it moves or something like that but here are the two little emojis and they have little holes in them so you can put them on the stand here which is actually pretty cool so you can make little emoji scenes with them so let's put Tim on there so there is the Disney emoji I think we'll go with another gacha capsule so it looks like this one is from the Pokemon series I'm not sure which one it is but let's have a look I'm not gonna peek and see who it is yet this gacha capsule is so hard to open. Okay, let's see the checklist first. So it is a keychain of the three Alolan starters and then Pikachu. So let's see what we got. Oh, it's Popio! Yay! Popio is my chosen starter Pokemon for Pokemon Sun and Moon. So I'm pretty happy to get him. Take him out of the packaging. So here is Popio. And he's really detailed. These Pokemon like keychains and figures are always really nice. So he's definitely, I might actually put him on my DS. I think he'd be perfect for that. But he is so cute. Oh, I love him and his little red nose. So that is the Pokemon Gacha capsule. Now moving on to the next blind box. Let's open another My Mini Mixi Q. This is from series two. So I don't know if I've actually opened any series two before. Ooh, they come with accessories, do they? Oh wait, is this a rare one? Oh, I really hope this is a rare one. This looks awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, let's put the hair on this one here. It looks like this is a fierce one and she is number 51, which is super cute. And then it's a special. Yay, I actually got a special one. And then this one here is number 15 and she looks like she isn't every day, but I'm super happy with this special one. She is so cute. I love her design. And the colors are gorgeous too. Let's open up a Panda a Panda blind box. So this comes with a mystery plush from series one. And there is all the ones on the back, but I haven't opened one of these before. So I'm interested to see what they're like. Ooh, looks like we have a yellow one. Oh, this one is so cute and it's really soft as well. It comes with a little keychain. 
And then what does this say? This is happy. And then it has the word for happy in Mandarin, I think. And then it is panditude. So this is the happy one. Oh, this is so cute. It's super soft too. I might hang this one off my bag. Let's go with a Marvel Simpson mystery pack from series three. So I'm hoping for either Cap or Black Widow. They're probably my favorite from these ones. But any of them would be pretty cool because I love all the Marvel characters. So let's see who it is. One, two, three. Oh, it's a cap. It is cap. Okay, I'm really, really happy. Yay. Cap is like my ultimate fave. So uh, I'm so happy I got him. He even has like a little shield on the back. Oh, I love this. Okay, that's really cool. So here is cap. And I guess he can sit like this as we swim. Or you could sit him on the top as well. Let's go with another Kirby one. I have quite a few of these. Open this one up. I hope I get the sleeping Kirby. I think he's pretty cute. Oh, we have Meta Knight. Okay, this is actually a really detailed figure. There's a little bit of a mark here, but not too much of a problem. But it is so nicely sculpted. So there is Meta Knight. He looks awesome. And on to the next one. Let's go with another Marvel themed bag. So this is a bag tag, and there's seven to collect. Of course, I'm hoping to a cap because he is my favorite. So let's see who is in here. Let's see. Oh, and now another one. One, two. Oh, no, we can open this one too. One, two, three. Oh, we have the Silver Surfer. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you guys might know that Disney bought Fox. So hopefully Silver Surfer might be coming back to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That would be super cool. That's actually a really cool bag tag. And then you can also write contact details on the back there let's open up some pokemon cards these are the pokemon moon cards from the pokemon center in tokyo so these are the japanese cards so let's open this up okay so it looks like that's like an event promo card and then i'm not sure how these work with the japanese cards so maybe we'll just flip them over like this so we have a rainbow energy Oh, we have a hollow. That's cool. That's really nice, actually. I can't remember what this Pokemon's name is, though. Let me know if you know in the comments. It's also another one. Oh, this is a drowsy. Super cool. And then this one. Oh, I forgot the name of this one. I think it's Granbull. Yeah, Granbull. And then the final one. Oh, is a little, like, Dratini. That is so, so cute. So that's actually a pretty good pull because we got a hollow in that one. Next up, let's go with some DC Ushies from Series 2. Oop, there's the back. There's a couple of different characters. I'd probably like Harley Quinn. Ooh, which one is this? Is Cyborg Superman, which actually looks pretty cool. The Ushies have like improved in quality, I think, so that actually looks quite nice. Has a little Superman logo on the back. The next one here is a Squish Delish from Series 2 which uh, recently just got released in Australia, which was nice. So let's open this one up. Ooh, it looks like it's pink. <gasps> which one is this? Oh no, it's broken. <gasps> oh no. Okay, so it is a little butterfly, but I wonder how it's like split in the middle. Oh, that's a shame. So I might be able to glue it back together because it is split just right along the seam there. But let's have a look and squish it. But that's a shame that it broke. Maybe I'll glue it back together. But it is quite a cute little squishy. The next one is a Myrmacorno Series 2. I've never opened any Myrmacornos before, so I'm really excited. And I like all of these series. They're all pretty nice. But I think I like Perla. I think you say it. That's her. Perlina, I think her name is. So let's open this one up. Ooh, these come in like blue blind bags, which is pretty cool. So let's get the scissors. Open this one up and let's see who it is. Ooh, did I get Perlina? I think I did. Oh, that's so lucky. Oh, I'm so happy I got her. Is there a little checklist in here? I think it is. Ooh, it is. So here is the Mamakono Series 2. And I love the little whale design here too. Oh, the Mamakonos are always so gorgeous. I'm so happy I got her. Let's go with another Love Live one. So this is a little, uh, one of the Nestle Betty um, metal charms. Let's open this up. Of course, I'm hoping for Yoshiko, but let's see. One, two, three. <gasps> I got Yoshiko! 
she go? Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I can't believe I got her. This is a lucky day, I think because it's Christmas. So here is Yoshiko and it actually looks like it's a real plush, like a photo of it, which is pretty cool. Oh, I love her. I'm so happy I got her, my best girl. Yay. And then on the back, it just says love live. Oh, this is super lucky. I can't believe I got her. So she's a little keychain strap. So I'll definitely be adding her to my Yoshiko Eater bag. Let's go with a baby secrets. So I've only opened up one of these before. But they came out here in Australia a couple of months ago. So here is the checklist. It's also a little birth certificate, which is quite cute. Ooh, who is this? Comes with a little hat. Oh, it's like a birthday party one. And the arms move as well. And the legs do too. Which is quite cute. Let's have a look at the checklist and see who this is. So, it looks like... Which one are you? It's a rare one, which is number 10. <gasps> That's really lucky, yay. So I got a rare baby secret. And next up, we have some more Shopkins. These are from the Boarding to Europe series, which I don't think I've opened any of these ones either. And then here are the Shopkins. Let's open up the first one. Oh, so we have a little drink, I think it is. It's like sparkly as well, which is pretty cool. And then the next one is a little gondola, I think. Oh, that's so cute. There is Lola Gondola, which is this one here. And then she is, I think she's a common because it has a little white circle next to her. So this one is Claudia Cake from the Spanish Stopover, which might be a rare. I'm not sure where it says the rarity of these ones. Oh, it's an ultra rare. So we got another ultra rare. Yay. <laughs> so this one is pretty cool. So we have one from the Spanish series and then also one from the Italian series, which both look really cute. Let's go with some more Disney. So we have some Sum Sum mobile cleaners. Let's see who's in here. Looks like we have Woody and Buzz Lightyear. I won't take these out of the packaging because I don't want to lose them and they're quite small. But they're super cute. Let's go with a, another Yokai Watch blind bag. I hope I can get Jibanyan or Komasan maybe, because they're probably my two favorite characters. Whoop. Can't get it out. Oh, we have another Whisper. <laughs> oh, I already have him, so I might trade him or put him up for sale, since I don't really need any doubles. But he actually looks pretty cool. I do like this little Whisper figure. Next up, let's go with a, another Gacha capsule. I don't know what's in here. Oh, I think this actually, this is from the Marvel exhibition in Tokyo. So you could get some of the characters from the Marvel series. Try and look at the checklist first. So we have a Wolverine and then some Spider-Man, Iron Man, the Hulk, Spider-Man, alien costume, and then a secret one. So let's see who we've got. Ooh, I think this is, is this the Spider-Man alien costume? It is. I recently watched the Spider-Man film and it was really, really good. I really enjoyed um, the new one that they released. So here is Spider-Man. Let's take him out of the packaging. This looks like a nice, like, detailed little figure. So here he is. He has, like, a little spider on the back. And then I think we can put him onto the stand like this. And he looks really cool. So let's open up another Gacha one. This is, I think, from May Dragon. They don't have any official merch out, I don't think. These were done by artists, so like fans of the series. So let's see, this one. Oh, it's a little Kanan badge. <gasps> that is so cute. Let's take this one out. So here is little Kana. In the back is just a simple badge. But I really wish May Dragon had more like official merch as well, but they don't seem to have many, which is a shame. Let's open up the next one, which is a Pokemon wafer series. And I think this one comes with a, like a sticker inside. Here is the sticker, it has Solgaleo on the back. Let's see who it is. Oh, it's a Snorlax. And it's like holographic as well. That looks super cool. I really love holographic stickers. They're like some of my favorites. Let's go with a Disney Princess Bushies. This is from series one and Let's see who is in here. Ready? Oh, we have Ariel. I love this dress as well. 
So it looks like she is a common, I think. Yeah, she is a common. On to the next one. Let's go with a Simsum Secret Strap. This is one of the ice cream series that I got last year. I think this one's been in the box for quite a while. <laughs> Another blind bag. Oh, I think we have Chip. I think I might already have this one though. Or maybe I have Dale. I can't remember. It's been quite a while since I opened these. But you can actually attach them to each other. So there's like a string of ice creams, which I thought was a pretty cool idea. Let's open up this Shopkins ball ball since it is Christmas. And this is from last year, I think. I like these because you can use them afterwards as like actual decorations. I don't think these ones come with a checklist, but we have a little wreath, which is cute. I won't take these ones out because I think I have some of these. And then there's also a little um, Christmas cracker, which is pink and silver, which is also adorable. I love those colors. And let's open up another Pokemon one. This is a Pokemon Tokyo Can Collection badge. And they all look like really cute characters to get. Vulpix and Jigglypuff are probably my favorites out of these ones. So here is the last Gacha capsule. It looks like this one might be a rabbit one. Let's have a look at the checklist first. Oh yay, these are little like rabbits that can sit in little baskets. It's just so cute, or little mugs. Okay, so here is the little rabbit house. Oh, that is adorable. It has a little tail and a flower on the back. And then let's pick out the rabbit. Oh, it's so cute. It has a little yellow spot around its eye. So you can put the rabbit in like this. So you can sit out like this, or you can put the rabbit like this. Oh, that is adorable. I really love all these animal gacha series. So moving on to the last couple of blind boxes. Let's go with this Rilakkuma. Which one is this? It is the beach house. So here are the ones on the back. I like this shaved ice one. So my camera cut out, but the one I got was the seafood barbecue, which is actually really cool. It comes with a little tray you can cut out and it comes with a little squid. And then I think this is like a scallop and then a little kiroi tori holding a fan. And I love that this scallop is actually shaped like Rilakkuma's head on the back. These are so detailed, but I'll definitely be posting another photo of this when it's all set up on my Instagram or Twitter. So next up we have a pick me pop. So I started opening this one here. This is one of the single ones. Let's open it up and see who's inside. Comes with a blue container. Oops, there goes all the piece of paper. Let's keep that there. So I think my camera might have cut out again, but I did open up the Pick Me Pop. So I'll show you guys which one I got, which is this adorable little owl. And it is Beeps the Owl and he is banana scented. And he actually does smell like banana. And then also on the inside here, it says, you're a hoot to be with. And then we also got started on opening the LOL Surprise Pets. So I took off one layer and the little information was that it was a fairy and then a tail, so fairy tail. So let's open up the next layer. off so here is the little stickers which are these ones here and then onto the final layer so here is the final layer so let's move these out of the way and then I think we just open it up like this okay so we have the little checklist here then we have a blind bag Another one here, then a owner's manual, a, another blind bag, and then the kinetic sand, which is really cool. I love the inside of these, they're like even like textured, which looks awesome. So let's put that back on the top there, and then we can put that on later. But let's have a look at the pet. So let's look at the accessories first. So the first one is a little bow which looks adorable and then the next surprise is a little bottle which is a blue bottle this is really cute and then the next one let's look. this is a little pooper scooper oh it looks like it might be a rabbit maybe it has little rabbit ears 
And then onto the pet. Let's have a look and see who's inside this one. Who do we have? Oh, we do have a little rabbit. Oh, it's so cute. These are so adorable. I think the quality has definitely improved since the first series. I know this is, looks a lot better than my other LOL Surprise ones. So let's put on her little bow, which is super cute. And then there's her little bottle. And then I think her arms move as well. So let's have a look and see who this is. So this is from the Storybook Club, which is Cottontail Cutie. And I think she either spits or cries. So I'll have to try that out afterwards. But let's open up the kinetic sand. How's it open? Oh, it's pink. That's so cool. So how should we search through this? Might have to search through. Oh, it looks like there's a little... Oh, there's a little cup. That's really cute. So it's filled with kinetic sand at the moment, but I'll take that one out. Let's see if there's anything else in here. I'm not sure if there is. Oh, this is so much fun to play with, though. I don't think there's anything else in there. So it looks like it's just a little cup, which is adorable. Let's put that back in there. And I think I might try and get this out here. <gasps> Look, it even comes with, like, a little bunny rabbit. That is such a cute accessory. Because I know some of them come with shoes, but I really, really like this little cup that it comes with. I'll put up a video on my Instagram story showing you guys if she spits or if she cries. Because she looks so cute. I love her little fluffy tail on the back as well. I also open up this Toki Doki Breakfast Besties and I think that my camera cut out for this one unfortunately as well but this is the series and I actually got Juicy Juice which is the same character as the one on the front which I'm really happy about because they'll look really cute in photos next to each other. I have another Breakfast Besties to open up as well in the next episode. So let's get on to the last blind box which is this jumbo pick me pop this is going to be kind of hard to open but let's open it up and see who's in here so i got all the packaging out so let's open up this giant pick me pop whoa <laughs> let's move this out of the way so here is tweezles the stretchy cat oh it's really really soft this is such a cute little plushie oh it reminds me of like the mochi mochi plushies that are in japan at the moment oh that's so cute it has a little tail I love the designs and it looks like this is where we can see if it has one, two or three surprises. So let's open this up and pull them out. So it looks like we have one surprise. We have a second surprise and a third surprise. Oh my gosh, you got the maximum amount you could. The quality of this plush is really nice and it's super soft. So oh, here is the little tag. So it is Tweezle the cat. Let's see what it says. It says perfect friends forever and it smells like raspberry and let's open up these surprises i can't believe we got three of them so here's the first one so it's a little keychain and let's open up the second one we have another little cat oh this one is adorable too and then onto the third one i wonder what color this one will be oh it's a little it is Tweezle. I think this is meant to be Tweezle. He's like got orange on the bottom and then pink on the top. These are super cute and they make such cute little keychains as well. So there is the final Pick Me Pop surprise with Tweezle the stretchy cat and also the three little charms. So here are some of the blind boxes that I opened up today. I don't think I can fit all of them in the frame because it is quite a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this special Mega Mavis Mystery Mayhem episode. Let me know in the comments which one was your favourite. It's kind of hard to pick a favourite for me, but I really did love getting some of my favourite Murma Cornos and Unicornos, as well as the new Smushy Mushy Squishies. They're really cute. And also the Squishy Cat. The plush quality is really nice. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful holiday season. Don't forget to subscribe and also turn on your notifications to be notified when the other part two episode goes up on New Year's Day. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.